Welcome to the next tutorial in our series. In this video, you'll learn how to synchronize your fireworks with music. This is also our first tutorial video recorded with FWSIM version 3.4. This update brings a new dark design as you can see, but most of the buttons are still in the same places. Let's get started. You can simply drag and drop your music from Windows Explorer into the timeline. The music will show up in the timeline, but also on top of the timeline. Inside the timeline, you can move your music to make it start earlier or later. On top of the timeline, the music is displayed, but it cannot be moved. When you click the music, you can change the volume on the right hand side. If the music is at the right place and you don't need to move it, we recommend you hide it from the timeline. To do that, right click on an empty portion of the timeline and disable Show Music in Timeline. You might want to make the top area of the timeline bigger so you can better see the waveform. Simply right click the waveform and choose a different size. The easiest way to synchronize your fireworks to music is to take a close look at the sound wave and search for peaks. When I want to design a show quickly, I use this method. After placing the cues approximately, I repeatedly listen to a certain part and adjust my fireworks until they match the music nearly perfectly. Here's a trick to make it easier to repeatedly view the same section. Click the gear wheel next to the timeline and disable play pause mode. Now the cursor will jump back to its starting position when you stop playback. When you want your timings to be really perfect, you should use some of the advanced tools for synchronization. Right click your music in the timeline and select synchronize with music. A bigger and more detailed waveform will appear. Here we can set up certain beats that will then be displayed in our timeline. To scroll around, use the scroll bar at the bottom or press and hold the middle mouse button. If you want to add individual beats, click mark single or press the S key. You can add beats while paused or even while playing. To move beats around, use the left mouse button. If your music has a regular tempo, then you can quickly create beats throughout the song. First, you need to listen to a segment and count how many beats there are. In most songs, a measure of music will have 4 beats. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We counted 9 measures. This means we have 9 multiplied by 4 equals 36 beats. Place the cursor at the beginning of the phrase and press phrase. Next, place the cursor at the ending of the phrase and press phrase end. By default, 16 markers are inserted at equal intervals. To change this, we hover over the beginning or end point of the phrase, right click and select edit. I typed in 32 beats here, because I don't want to fill the last measure with marks. Let's click play and see if we got it right. Alright, this looks correct. You can right click on a phrase or single marker to delete them. Repeat these steps to set markers at significant points in the song. When you are happy with your result, click OK. The markers are now shown on top of the timeline. If you move cues, they will automatically snap to these times. To disable snapping temporarily, hold the control key.
In FWSM Pro version 3.4, there are several new tools that are useful for music synchronization. You can activate them by clicking the gear icon. Insert and snap at burst time will use the burst time of shells as a reference for snapping. Vertical reference line while dragging a cube makes it easier to get precise timing. That's it. Now it's your turn to create perfectly synchronized shells with FWSM. Share your work with us and mention us in Instagram and Facebook posts or on YouTube. We are excited to see your shows.